So I guess being top dog at Burke Willis frees you up for a little more time at the driving range. Very funny. Actually, I've been taking lessons, and not because I have more time. <whistles> but because I'm tired of you kicking my butt. <laughs> so tell me, Mr. Tedro, am I any closer to convincing you to stay with me at Burke Willis? You know, you really know how to ruin a guy's golf game. I haven't had time to put together a formal offer yet, but... Ooh, nice. But if you'd give it a little thought, let me know what would make you happy. Or at least what would make you consider staying. What are you doing think about it? Thanks. You wouldn't believe the kind of pressure I'm under to get deals in my department now. You know, one of these days I'm gonna be able to resist your charms. Then where will you be? Oh, I don't plan to ever find out. Well, I hope we're not spoiling a moment. Uh, no, we're just backing up. Good, good. Brian Tedro, Bob Jameson, Hargrave International Bank. Brian is the head, uh, ex-head of labor, but he's still with the department. And, uh, Terry Joseph is the new head of labor and employment. Heard a lot about you, Bob. As I have you. And you. You know, in fact, your name came up in recent conversations about an opening we have. Whoa, whoa, Bob. Surely you're not courting my top attorney right in front of me. Sure. Thank you. Hey, you know, maybe I should drop by your office sometime and show you what a real driver looks like. I'd look forward to it. Excuse me. Whoa, whoa. save you a ton of money by spreading these residual payments over three years. That's pretty heads up thinking, Tedro. Good evening, gentlemen. How's everything going? Let's test her. So what's your opinion of the stock versus cash portion of my termination clause? Uh, let's see. Yep, well, although the stock package they're offering is sizable, I'd go with an exit strategy that favored cash. Brian, what do you think? Well, Grey Kirk Oil has always been a solid company on the Dow. And if oil trends continue, these options could be worth double what they're offering in cash. I see what you mean. But according to his financial advisors, his portfolio is already pretty diversified. Plus, with the Middle East becoming such a powder keg, the oil market isn't the dependable bull that once was. But you'd agree that our country was built on two things the stock market and oil. I really believe yeah, that... I see the soundness of your strategy, but Dusty's still a relatively young man. A young man who happens to be very wealthy. I think we should go ahead and give him a couple of chips to spread around the roulette table. And that's exactly what we'll do. Hmm. I have to get back to work. Looks like you boys got a good handle on things. He's a real cowboy, ain't she? Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking for uh, Bob Jameson. Maybe he's in the conference room with Brian. Terry, how are contract negotiations with Brian coming? Fine. Fine. Good. Good. Burke and Willis thought it would be tricky holding on to him. I guess they were wrong. Came special delivery yesterday. You're kidding. Mm -hmm. What that set you back? Guess. 300. Again? 500? Once more. <laughs> oh, let's hope you can shoot better. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks. Right there, please. Terry. Hi. Hey. Wow. You look great. Oh, thank you. Who's the lucky guy? <laughs> Guys. <laughs> the board of Great Kirk invited me to the foundation luncheon. Hey, Terry. I was just on my way to see you. Is that right? 
Yeah, I had a meeting on the 23rd floor, and I thought I'd uh, show you that driver I was talking about. Mm -hmm. And you decided to show it to Brian first. Uh, we ran into each other at the elevator. Can you see me after lunch? I need to get your opinion on assigning a couple of cases. Sure. Okay. You know, I guess I should give it a try, since you were nice enough to buy it for me. Right. <laughs> yeah, of course. You wanted to see me? I was wondering if you had a chance to drop your wish list for your deal. I'm supposed to talk to Catherine Burke later, and I'm sure she's going to ask. Yeah, I'm still working on that memo. It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. How so? Well, I just want to make sure I'm covering all my bases. Oh. Did Bob Jamison offer you a job? No. Why? Because it's starting to feel like you're stringing me along, Brian. It's not every day that an employee gets the opportunity to dictate the terms of his deal. Feels like you're taking advantage of me. What? You come into a business meeting that I am running and belittle me and my position with the client and tell me I'm taking advantage of you? I'm head of the department. He asked me a question. I look on shore, not in control. That client loses faith in the whole law firm. You're exaggerating just a little, don't you think? You're the only lawyer whose input I solicited in his renegotiation. I strongly suggest you give me that input by five o'clock today. I'll email you within the hour. Probably pissed you didn't get an email from me. Actually, no. No. If you don't want to be here, then you're right to leave. I have to accept that without feeling pissed off or betrayed or disrespected or... You know, that response is so typical of you. Everything's about how it affects you, what you feel. Well, you know what? If I'm such a horrible person, then you're right to leave. So go. Leave. You know, if I'm so damn horrible, why the hell are you still here? It's a good question. Trust me, I've asked myself the same thing a thousand times. Well, did you come up with anything interesting? Yes, Terry, I did. I'm stupid. You see, I happen to know that some of the partners are gunning for you. And I also know that those same partners are laughing at me. But I'm still here. Because the thought of your failure is even more distressing to me than having to stay here. Thank you, Brian. Oh, God. I really don't want to try this without you. Oh, my God. I'm so glad we feel the same way. Trust me, we, we don't feel the same way. And now I'm confused. If I didn't feel about you the way that I obviously do, then it would be easy to walk away. But as evidence suggests, it's not that easy. Oh. Yeah. 